guys, it's Reagan, and today I am doing an extra special book tag. And this book tag is inspired by Melissa Lander's news release, Starflight, which came out on February 2nd of this year. And I'm actually working with Disney Hyperion for this video. Starflight is a young adult science fiction novel set in a obviously a futuristic earth and society. It follows our main character, Solora, and she is a convicted convict and has the sentence that she was convicted of tattooed on her knuckles. She is looking to start a new, start fresh, escape Earth, essentially, and her ticket to do that is to become an indentured servant on a spaceship that is traveling to the outer rings of the galaxy. However, because she's a convict, no one really wants to hire her as an indentured servant, except like her worst nemesis from high school. He does. Drama happens, also a conspiracy erupts, and they find themselves on a pirate spaceship. It's pretty great. I really, really enjoyed this novel. I thought it was a lot of fun. The plot was so fast and like everything just happened so quickly. I personally really enjoyed the element of space pirates in this book. I don't know about you, but I really can't get enough of any type of pirate thing done in any book and I thought it was done really well. I loved the romance a lot. I'm a really big fan of that romance where they're like, I hate you, I love you, but I hate you, I might love you, I don't know. It keeps me interested and I was like flying through the story because I just wanted to know what happened next. Anyway, this book was really really fun. I ended up giving it four stars. I really liked it. So in honor of the release of Starflight and the fact that it's set in outer space or a large portion of it is, I'm going to be doing the intergalactic book tag. It's 10 space theme questions that I have to answer and give books as my answer. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First question is space. Name a book that is out of this world or a book that takes place in a world other than our own. I have a lot of options for this because I read a lot of fantasy so like pretty much any of these books could qualify but I decided to pick one of my all-time favorite young adult fantasy books that I feel like I haven't talked about in a while which makes me feel like it needs to be talked about soon. And that is Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. This is an amazing character-driven young adult fantasy that takes place in a very complicated political landscape in a brand new world. It's so good. It follows our main character Finnegan and he's trying to bring his people home as they've been exiled from his kingdom and his kingdom is surrounded by like a wall that people can't enter but it's like a magical wall and it's really really not a good situation for those people and everyone are refugees but this book series this trilogy is fantastic the next question is black hole name a book that completely sucked you in so for this I had to pick the name of the wind and a wise man's fear by Patrick Rothfuss I know I've been talking about these books ceaselessly on my channel but there's a reason for this I'm not going to equate the reading experience of these two Harry Potter, but I am going to say I haven't been so invested in characters and a story that is so long and rich and complex. To me, it feels like anyway, since Harry Potter, the stories aren't similar, but it just gives me a reading experience that I love and I'm just like, like these stories are going to stick with me for the rest of my life just like Harry Potter is. Obviously I still love Harry Potter the most out of anything ever, but these books are just so fantastic and I just really, really, really am attached to them. This question is light speed. Name a book that you are anticipating so much that you wish you could just light speed there. For this, I'm going with Flamecaster by Cindy Williams Chima. This is the first book to her continuation of the Seven Realms fantasy series, which is one of my all-time favorite young adult uh, fantasy series. This is, uh, it's this particular series is following the next generation of characters, new characters, very different from the first ones, but whole new political stuff is happening. I am so excited to read this. It comes out in April. Question four is Nebula. Name a book with a beautiful cover. I just have to go with my Jane Austen books that are in the Vintage Classic. It's Classics Edition. These particular editions of these books are probably my favorite cover design of any books that I've seen. I just think they're beautiful and they're books that I want to literally just decorate my house with. Like don't get me wrong, I think all books are beautiful but these are like coffee, like you could put them and they can be an integral part of your decor if that makes sense. I just think they're absolutely stunning. I love the use of pattern and color everywhere. They're so 
beautiful. Question five is multiverse. Name a spin-off series or a continuation of a series that you really, really love. For this, I went with the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. This is the spin-off series to the Percy Jackson series, and I actually love this series even more than Percy Jackson, so I would say Rick Riordan was very successful in his spin-off creations. This follows a whole new cast of characters, though it does involve Percy, but it has a whole bunch of new stuff and more complex characters than the original ones did. I love reading these, and I can't wait for more Rick Riordan books, because I think we're getting two this year. I think we're that lucky. Question six is gravity. Name a romantic pairing that seems to have a gravitational pull towards each other. This one I have to go with Wentworth and Anne and Persuasion and I, re I think this is entirely because I'm currently reading this book and their like sexual tension is something I cannot handle and because it's like obviously like 18th century literature their sexual tension is like shrouded in all these words and cleverly crafted sentences but you know it's there and I am just dying on the inside for something to happen. And I'm pretty sure something will happen, but I still got a while to get to there. Question seven is the Big Bang. Name a book that got you started on reading in general. The big question. So for me, I've literally been reading my entire life. I can't think of a time period in my life where I wasn't reading and enjoying novels. So this question is actually kind of tricky because if I really answer this question truthfully, it's going to have to be the books that I remember reading first. Um, obviously, Harry Potter is a very integral part of my reading experience. Uh, it was definitely probably the most complex plot and story I read at a young age where I really saw that a world can be expansive and full of really emotionally and um, just dynamic characters. But the books that I first loved, my first love as a child, was definitely the Judy B. Jones books. I have read all of those books so many times, I still remember the plot so well. Like the one where she cuts her own hair, like it's, uh, it's amazing. So those are the books that I just remember reading as like a four or five year old and like being obsessed with and my mom, you know, going out and getting me more and we'd read them together, I'd read them alone, so Judy B. Jones. Question eight. Asteroid. Name a short story or novella that you really, really love. So I haven't read a lot of short stories, but I have read Anthony Doerr's short story collection. And in here, I have one that I really, really like. It's called, for a long time, this was Griselda's story. And it's like a really kind of depressing story about a woman and her life choices and kind of where she's sitting and the perspectives that she has as an individual but at the same time it's really fascinating because it's it's like it's just it's fascinating because it's just this microscopic look at a woman who's living with her life choices that she made when she was really young it's a really good short story i actually really like this collection by the way again i have no i have i haven't read very many short story collections but i did really enjoy the shell collector by anthony Doerr, so if you're interested. Question nine is Galaxy. Name a book with multiple POVs. For this, I w I'm going to go with the book that I haven't talked a lot on my channel recently, but I do have a review of, and that is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. So this is a story that uses multiple POVs so well. Uh, basically, this follows a mixed-race family in the 1970s, and basically their prized child has been found dead, and there's a mystery surrounding that, but well, obviously that mystery is really important. The main part and point of the story is this idea of everything I never told you. We have all these perspectives of different family members, and we find out all of their secrets and all the things they're not communicating to each other, and that is why they're falling apart as a family. It's a fantastic book. I really, really love this book, so. And the very last question is spaceships, and uh, you're supposed to pick a book, uh, book title that is a great name for a spaceship. I'm cheating a little because this is, this book, this book's name is the name of the airship that's in the book, but it's still a great name. And that's Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld. I'm sorry, I think Leviathan is a great spaceship name and I'm not apologizing. I'm taking it, I'm racking it up, I'm going. Getting in Leviathan and shooting into space, so. Alrighty guys, that is the intergalactic book tag inspired by Starflight by Melissa Landers. And for this tag, I am going to tag Max over at Well Done Books and also Jenny over at Jellify. If you're interested in doing the intergalactic book tag, please do. I really think it's out of this world. Fun. Anyway, I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!